probably been a hundred takeoffs of dragnet since it's been on in 14 years. But a strange thing, this Jack show is so stylized that no matter what you do, it becomes rather amusing, kind of out of context. So we'll give you a short capsule version of a dragnet script. This is the city. <laughs> Los Angeles, California. Some people rob for pleasure. Some rob because it's there. You never know. My name's Friday. I'm a cop. I was working the day watch on a robbery when I got a call from the Acme School Bell Company. There'd been a robbery. There's been a robbery. <laughs> yes, sir. What was it? How's that? <laughs> what was stolen, sir? I run a school bell company. Never had any trouble before. Can't understand it. Just, just make bells. Never had any trouble. Sir? Hmm? <laughs> what, what was stolen? My clappers. <laughs> Clappers. Yeah, you know those things inside a bell that makes them clang? The clangers. That's right, we call them clappers in the business. A clapper caper. What's that? Nothing, sir. Now, can I have the facts? What kind of clappers were stolen on this caper? They were copper clappers. And where were they kept? In the closet. Uh-huh. Do you have any ideas who might have taken the copper clappers from the closet? Well, just one. I fired a man. He swore he'd get even. What was his name? Claude Cooper. <laughs> you think that, he... That's right. I think Claude Cooper copped my copper clappers. Kept in the closet. You know where this Claude Cooper is from? Yeah. Cleveland. That big. <laughs> That figures. What makes it worse, they were clean. <laughs> clean copper clappers. That's right. Why do you think Cleveland's Claude Cooper would cop your clean copper clappers kept in your closet? <laughs> Only one reason. What's that? He's a kleptomaniac. <laughs> Who first discovered the copper clappers were copped? My cleaning woman. Clara Clifford. <laughs> that figures. Now let me see if I got the facts straight here. Cleaning woman Clara Clifford discovered your clean copper clappers kept in a closet were copped by Claude Cooper, the kleptomaniac from Cleveland. Now is that about it? <laughs> One other thing. What's that? If I ever catch kleptomaniac Claude Cooper from Cleveland who caught my clean copper clappers from kept in the closet, yes, I'll clobber him. This looks to me like an 802. No, what's that? Clutzy comedy. protect his reputation. <laughs> we'll turn in a moment afterwards from our sponsor. Max Factor to the land of sugar frost plums, where eyes shimmer with a luscious plum hither look. The frosted radiance of Max Factor's shimmer shadow, and lips dazzle with the million dollar shine of ultra lucent whipped cream frosts. Sugared up molds, candied up plums, you've never had more glowing for you. Sugar frost plums by Max Factor. You know, when you get ready to give a party, you want your whole house to look clean. Well, nothing helps more than clean carpets, and nothing cleans like Blue Luster. Easy to use Blue Luster has a gentle foam that brings out the color of your carpets and leaves them beautiful. Blue Luster, soft and beautiful. So go ahead, have a party, then let Blue Luster take care of your carpets. Effective, economical Blue Luster shampoo and the easy-to-use Blue Luster shampoo 
are available where you see this display. When you're watching the world go by from a sunny sidewalk cafe, that's living. Ah, uh, but with a glass of lanterns, that's the good life. You know why people love lanterns? Shimmering lanterns. Because it tastes so special. Lanterns Rosé, imported from Portugal. To the good life. Hello there, young man. It's King Ding Dong. King who? Ding Dong. Don't you see him? No. But the host is Ding Dong. To kids, I'm just as real as the good taste of that chocolatey icing and creamy filling. Fly on, Mom. Now do you see him? I think so, Jimmy. Hostess Ding Dongs, fruit pies and Twinkies. With Hostess, tasting is believing. <laughs> Occasionally on the show, we have tried uh, a put-on. You know, we invite somebody on the show who's not really who he appears to be. One night we had the Mets batting coach, remember, some years ago, and the Mets just started here in New York. And the guy came on, and we interviewed him, and he was going to show us how to hit a ball, and he, of course, kept missing it. Uh, this next piece uh, is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, we invite, uh, seemingly, the uh, French Council to appear on our show to answer some charges that I've been making too many jokes about France and hurting tourism, so we invite him on the show. And the, he does it so well, the audience buys it. So, Bob, you want to run that? The more serious matters, as I mentioned in the monologue yesterday, and here is the item from the New York Times business section. It says, United States individuals making reprisal against France. And it tells about some of the stores here in the United States because, I guess, of General de Gaulle's attitude toward Americans and this country in general. And it says, uh, I won't mention his name, his commercial secretary in New York complains that United States TV performers such as Johnny Carson contribute to the situation. He says, when they don't know how, to make, know how to make people laugh, they make joke about de Gaulle. So in equal fairness, uh, since this is public air, we invited and we found out the gentleman's name is Pierre, how would you put Bouch Bouchard, B-O-U-C-H-A-U-D, Bouchard, assistant French deputy secretary to discuss the problem. Would you welcome, please, Monsieur Beauchamp. <laughs> welcome. Thank you for this opportunity to visit you. Well, we're, we're delighted to do it, and without going into great details, I wanted to find out what, what mainly are the objections to making fun jokes about uh, de Gaulle. Yes. Well, for, uh, for one thing, the American public is boycotting French products. Our sales are uh, off rather sharply. And uh, it is not our policy to, to uh, make light mm -hmm. of President Johnson or to interfere in your affairs. Now, why is it necessary in this country to, uh, to tell us how to try to run our business? I say that um, we are being treated unfairly. What do you say to that? Interesting to sit here and watch my hair turn gray in front of my eyes. Uh, <laughs> Karnak is another character we love to do. And as you know, always on the open, I got into the habit for some reason of taking a, a little trip on the step, just as a running gag. And we've done it for years. So one night we decided to, uh, to go the whole route and uh, another put on. So Bob, you want to run Karnak? And we'll be right back. Here's Karnak. One of the most exciting visits when we come uh, to the West Coast is a great visit from our Easterner, the great sage, seer, soothsayer, famous mystic, all omniscient, and former tax advisor to Governor Reagan, 
Karnak, the Magnificent. You're the only person in the whole... who could get arrested for impersonating policemen tomorrow. When it gets hot, you get wet. You get wet, you get odor. This is Stay Dry Antiperspirant. It uses a special deodorant that helps stop odor, even at 200 degrees. We set out to prove it. At 90, the subject removed his coat. Stay Dry was working. At 115, he removed everything. Stay Dry was working. At 130, he removed himself. Stay Dry was still working. We know Stay Dry Antiperspirant keeps working at 200 degrees. All we need is a volunteer who will. Fantastic! Dirt just disappears, like that. No bucket, no water, no mess. Fantastic, so powerful, even grease and grime are gone, like that. On almost any dirt, anywhere. Fantastic cleans on contact, like that. Fantastic. Only an hour old, but a thoroughbred born to race, like all the thoroughbreds will be doing at Santa Anita during the Oak Tree Meet, starting October 5th. KNBC Los Angeles. great joys of doing this show the past nine years is being able to listen to this great group of musicians night after night after night. I never get tired of them. Right. We, uh, we occasionally bite the hand that feeds us on this show. We do takeoffs on commercials. And a few years ago, I think they now have reinstated it again. They did a commercial on a, a cigar called uh, Eric, I believe, and we changed a little bit. But that's the one where the guy came in on the Viking ship, which actually they filmed in the East River. So we wanted to do our own version. That's right, that's why they filmed it. We wanted to do our own version of that commercial. That's the virile Scandinavian who smokes only these little cigars. So here is Derek is here. Once. is here. <laughs> Derek is here. Derek is here. <laughs> yes, Derek is here.
Now we're going to show you a couple of minutes of the only wedding we've ever had on, uh, on this show. It was December 17th, 1969, as you know, when Tiny Tim took Miss Vicky as his bride. We had 10,000 tulips that were flown in from Holland. Merrill Sindler did a great job on the set. And I think outside of one special that season, and I believe it was the, the landing on the moon, if I'm not mistaken, which received a higher... Some 45 million people saw that particular show. Um, it was really some kind of an event. So for those of you who missed it, we're going to show you just some excerpts, not the entire scene, but here is some excerpts from Tiny Tim's Wedding from Beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of Christ to join this man, Herbert Buckingham Corey, and this woman, Victoria May Budinger, in holy marriage. And now the promises, Tim saying after me, your vows, I, Herbert Corey, being of sound mind. I, Herbert Corey, being of sound mind. In the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the presence of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The Son of God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. Do humbly and happily. Do humbly and happily. And most gratefully. And most gratefully. With thy and thy parents' consent. With thy and thy parents' consent. Take thee. Take thee, Miss Victoria May Buttinger. Miss Victoria May Buttinger. As my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. Now, Vicky, saying after me your vows, I, Victoria May Buttinger. I, Victoria May Buttinger. Being of sound mind. Being of sound mind. In the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Son of God. The Son of God. And these witnesses. And these witnesses. Do humbly and happily and most gratefully. Do humbly and happily and most gratefully. Take thee. Take thee. Mr. Herbert Buckingham Corey. Mr. Herbert Buckingham Corey. As my lawfully wedded husband. My lawfully wedded husband. And now by the authority committed unto me as minister of the church, I do now declare that ye are husband and wife, and whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. And the Lord bless thee and keep thee this day and unto the end. Amen. Let me kiss the bride. with another crazy thing that happened in California about three years ago. Now, meet a very big man in the stew business. The first name's Dinty, and the second name's Moore. That figures, doesn't I it? I knew him. Yes. This is the legend of Dinty Moore. One day he took a pal to the store. Al said, Dinty, let's see you 
pick out dinty more beef stew with potatoes and carrots fresh as the beef and gravy rich beyond belief now dinty's pal was too young to read yet he found dinty more with lightning speed how'd you know it was dinty more stew when i saw the thumbprint i knew it was you old man i got the hottest chili in town for milk chili kid I'm calling you. Hmm. Ain't exactly tame, but I got Hormel hot chili. Your move, son. Hormel hot chili. It ain't for green horns. Proctor Silex, Proctor Silex. Up toaster oven, great features and value, it does it all. Makes delicious everyday things like pre-buttered toast. Buttered English muffins. Biscuits. Toasted cheese sandwiches. Pizza. Even hot hors d'oeuvres. Great for today's heat and serve foods. Toasts fast. And in this toaster oven, the toast pops up. Proctor Silex. Get the new Proctor Silex toaster oven at May Company and other fine stores. Palmolive presents the body soap. Palmolive green with lanolin. Palmolive gold with deodorant. Palmolive green softens your skin as it cleans. It's like giving your whole body a facial. Palmolive gold helps keep your body refreshed because it helps to protect against germs and odor-causing bacteria. Palmolive green with lanolin for the body facial. Palmolive gold with deodorant for the body refresher. The body soap from Palmolive. Here is a segment from a show. This is all completely spontaneous. That's one of the other joys of doing this show is that we never really know for any given time what's going to happen. I have been kidding Rose Marie, and on that show, I believe, were Debbie Reynolds, uh, John Biner, Carl Reiner. Um, and they did something as a put-on. They just got up and walked off stage for a moment, and uh, you'll see what happened. Bob, you want to roll that? Talking about early show business, I would imagine Rosemarie probably was a show business before any of us. Uh, no, 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 what I meant was, what I meant, let me, no, no, you misunderstand. She started at an earlier age than any of us. That's what I meant. She, she was, convinced us, I'll convince her. She was about, <laughs> actually, she's only 12, 13 years ago, but she was, she started when she was three, is what I meant by that. The words just tumbled out there, uh, helter skelter. Uh, let me see me get out of this. Would you welcome Rosemary? Not only in one of the great sports of all times, Rosemary. All right. I didn't hear what you said back there. That thing doesn't work. What, what, I, say? what I wanted John to Barner say. John Barner will tell you. What I... What did say? What he say? He said that uh, when they first built a stage, you held a hammer. saying that you uh, started at the earliest age of any of us <laughs> no, in show business. You didn't say that. What? You didn't what did he say? Exactly. Uh, you're my friend. What did he say? I said you I did show business longer than any of us. <laughs> and I, of course, didn't mean that. I meant that you started at an earlier possible age. <laughs> and uh, I wish I wish that cat was here. Uh, That big cat is about right now. Yes, a big cat about that big. No, but you started, well, you were only, a, you were only, a, oh, couldn't have been over, a, two and a half, three at the, at the most. Yeah. How about that? Okay, moving along. No, true. True. That's all I meant, Rosie. You know that. Really? Now, we've known each other for, for a short time. <laughs> six, seven, eight, six, seven weeks. And, uh, but you were a child, uh, you were a, you were a child performer. When you were a child. That's right. Uh, very young. Uh,
thought they'd never leave. Uh, anyway. <laughs> How much, uh, how much time do we have? Uh, 43 minutes. Uh, okay, it's time to play Stump the Band. Uh, get your tunes ready quick. Uh, do we have any commercials left? Don't have any commercials left. Want to cue the cat? get my quinine every hour, I go bananas. Is uh, that it? That's, that's, that's about it. How long you been in the business? <laughs> Welcome back to Rawhide. <laughs> We've had some crazy oh. nights. If walls could talk, they'd tell you about some great American homes and Sears paint. The story is that George Washington called on Betsy Ross in June of 1776 and engaged her to make a flag. The stars will have six points, General Washington explained, because a five-pointed star is very difficult to make. Betsy smiled, folded a square of paper, and quickly cut a five-pointed star. Five points it is, said Washington. And soon afterwards, Betsy delivered the first flag. This year, we're freshening Betsy Ross's home in Philadelphia with Sears' best interior latex paint. Long-lasting paint that hand prints, stains, and smudges can't hurt. Sears' best comes in all your favorite colors and comes clean with soap and water. Will stand 8,000 scrubbing strokes, if it comes to that. Sears' best interior latex for great American homes like yours. Some credit cards can buy you a meal in a restaurant. The American Express money card can buy you an elegant luncheon at the Four Seasons in New York. 
Or it can buy you a classic combination of French cuisine and scenery at Bouquet's in Paris, plus everything else from airfare to hotel rooms. I strongly recommend you apply for this one, the American Express money card for people who travel. that fresh, moist devil's food cake and creamy filling. Have one, Mom. See you now, Ma? I... I think I do. Hostess cupcakes, fruit pies, and Twinkies. With Hostess, tasting is believing. This uh, next film clip you'll see is Michelle. We did a couple of years ago in California. And this is not... Filmed. I mean, it is filmed, of course, tonight. But we did it live that night on the show. We didn't try to appreciate it like they do a movie, which is rather incredible because lots of things could have gone wrong with this. But we had Doug McClure and James Drury from the Virginian on, and uh, Andrew McLaughlin, the famous director, was staged a fight scene for us. We ran it, I think, one time in rehearsal, and then we tried it on the air, and it it turned out remarkably well. So here's the uh, famous barroom fight scene, Bob. my drink. I think of all the takeoffs we did, we probably did more of them on the opening of Mission Impossible, which is, at that time, I don't think they opened with a tape recorder anymore, do they? No. But as you know, they used to open every night with him giving his instructions in some ridiculous place. A phone booth we did it once, and a, and a car, and... Uh, this was the most ridiculous. This was the most ridiculous of all. This is the only one that they probably didn't use in all the time that show has been on the air. So here is our opening to Mission Impossible. <laughs>
Colonel Gregory Dashka is the man most able to keep peace with his country's neighbor to the south, Pakachu. He was recently captured by a small group of fanatics led by Valdor Bradkin and is now being held in a fortress outside of Pliskard. Your mission, Jim, should you decide to accept it, is to return Dashka from Pliskard without arousing any concern in either Pakachu or Buchek. <laughs> should you or any member of your MI force be captured or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Good luck, Jim. This recording will self-destruct in five seconds. Some color TV companies talk about their new bright picture tubes. Others about their automatic uh, fine tuning. Some talk about their automatic tint control. Magnavox has all those important features and more with its total automatic color system. So you can buy a set for one feature or another or you can buy a Magnavox color set with all those features and more. Magnavox gives you more. When life urges you on, do your feet say, forget it? Maybe you need copies. The terrific way they look is only half of it. The other half is the terrific way they feel. Wear copies, because you'll never get anywhere without your feet. To see Vespa in leg caressing stretch shiny crinkle, call free. Watch this filter. It traps oils and sediment that can make coffee taste bitter. Now, meet Max Pack's coffee filter rings. Ground coffee packed in its own filter. Just perk. The filter traps oils and sediment that can cause bitterness. So Max Pack's tastes great, cup after cup. Then throw the filter away. New Max Pack's great tasting coffee in a throwaway filter. This horse is unique. He's a thoroughbred, bred to do one thing better than any other animal in the world, run. The thoroughbreds will be running at Santa Anita during the Oak Tree Meet. Be there for the action, the excitement of thoroughbred racing at Santa Anita. It all begins Tuesday, October 5th. Nine races, two exactors every day. The Oak Tree Meet at Santa Anita. Well, it's fun to look back and see a lot of those things. Ooh, isn't it? wild. I imagine how much stuff we've done. Well, watch us go old, I hope, whoop gracefully. No, it's, it's been an incredible amount of fun for the past nine years. I want to thank, of course, everybody on the Tonight Show staff. Uh, an incredible bunch of people to work with, especially all of you. It wouldn't have been possible without you watching us for nine years. I thank you for that, and I hope you'll be with us Monday.
Will the partners get their man? Yes, as soon as they get out of jail, tomorrow night. History of College Television Course for Credit. Four. Call now to enroll for credit. Years ago, Southern California Edison entered a once inaccessible part of the High Sierra in Central California and began Project Big Creek. Edison's goal was to harness the spring thaws by creating a series of lakes and dams to generate electricity. Edison also began an extensive conservation program. Today, this area, with its lakes and miles of streams, is also benefited by Edison's experimental trout farm and Edison's scientific tree farm. And Big Creek opened up a vast recreation area for the public. From six man-made lakes, water is now controlled and is also used for irrigation during hot, dry summers in the San Joaquin Valley. Conservation, another of the many ways Southern California Edison is working to protect the environment we all share. Kirsch introduces the 1972 window. It can be basic. It can be cheerful. It can be bold. It can be elegant. It can be anything you want it to be if you start with Kirsch Drapery Hardware. Our 124-page book, Windows Beautiful, shows you how. A dollar at fine stores everywhere. For the store nearest you, call 800-243-6100, toll free. Anytime. Okay, Ralphs. Everybody knows the government has frozen prices. Now where are you? Our guarantee still stands. How? Well, remember, the government didn't lower everyday supermarket prices. It just froze them where they were. So high prices can stay high. But Ralph's prices are frozen low. Then it's still true. On identical brands and product quality? No prices are lower prices than Ralph's prices. Right. KNBC for Los Angeles. This is the KNBC News Service sign-off edition. The time is now 102, Saturday morning, October 2nd. Richie Reed, an expert on population problems for the U.S. government, was stabbed to death in Washington, D.C. Friday night. His body was found in a washroom on the fifth floor of the new executive office building. That building is just 300 yards from the White House. Reed was stabbed 20 times. Police don't have any leads at this hour. Fugitive Stephen Bingham was charged with five counts of murder yesterday in connection with a bloody escape attempt from San Quentin Prison last August 21st. Bingham is suspected of smuggling a gun to inmate George Jackson. The man, officials say, triggered a deadly shootout when he tried to escape. Jackson, two other inmates, and three prison guards were killed. Bingham, a civil rights activist, hasn't been seen since the day of the shooting. Black Panther leader Huey Newton is getting the royal treatment in Red China. Last night he turned up in Premier Zhou Enlai's party for a National Day celebration in Peking. The celebration in Peking was subdued, just as all of the other celebrations throughout China were. What happened in those celebrations did nothing to shed any light on a suspected internal crisis in Red China. U.S. Attorney General John Mitchell, President Nixon's number one political advisor, seemed to be tuning up for the 1972 election last night in a speech in Los Angeles. Mitchell strongly denounced two possible Democratic presidential nominees, Senator Edward Kennedy of Massachusetts and Senator Vance Hartke from Indiana. Mitchell said the two senators used gutter tactics in their recent attacks on the president's Vietnam policies. Mitchell didn't name names, but everyone at the meeting of the Republican State Central Committee knew who he was talking about. <laughs>